In today's number corner lesson, we will be marking multiples of two, three, and six on the number line. Let's start today's lesson by answering this question. What is computational fluency? It is the ability to solve number problems efficiently and accurately. If someone has computational fluency, it means they can add, subtract, multiply, and divide pretty quickly and get the right answer. You are developing computational fluency with all of the work that we have been doing this week to learn our multiplication facts and then better understanding why these facts are the way they are with the multiplication models we've learned too. In this workout, we will play games and use number lines to develop your understanding of numbers, including whole numbers, fractions and decimals, and operations, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. For today's computational fluency activity, we will use the number line to think about certain sets of numbers that have some things in common. Check out this number line and the number line slides I'm scrolling through. The number line goes all the way to 100. There's also a number line posted on our wall at school in the classroom. Study the number line quietly for a moment. What observations do you have about the number line so far? I'll scroll through it, and as you watch, you pause the video and then make a comment below. The number line in our classroom is going to have black and gray dots on it. It's kind of hard to see here, but the gray dots go by tens and the black dots go in between. We are going to use our number line to skip count by twos around the room so that every member of the class says a multiple of two. So I am going to take turns with you since it is just the two of us. So let's skip count up to 100 using our virtual number line. This is how it will go. I'll say two, you'll say four. I'll say six, you'll say eight. We will skip count by twos. Here we go. Two, your turn. Six, your turn. Ten, your turn. Fourteen, your turn. Eighteen, your turn. Twenty-two, twenty-six, thirty, thirty-four, thirty-eight, 42, 46, 50, 54, 58, 62, 66, 70, 74, 78, 80, you go. Now I'll do 82. Sorry, I messed up. 82, 86, 90, 94, 98, and 100. Yes, hooray, we did it. Now let's get our math journals and take a few notes together. So pause the video and get a pencil and turn to the next blank page to follow along with the next few slides. Put the date at the top in the right hand corner. Let's start by clarifying a term we've been using, multiple. When you were skip counting by twos just now, you said many multiples of two. What is a multiple? When you multiply a number by another number, you get a multiple, like two times five is 10. So 10 is a multiple of two. A multiple is also a, it's the number that another number goes into evenly. If I said 18, two goes into 18 exactly nine times. What is a multiple? Simply put, it is the number you get when you multiply a number by another number. What are the multiples of five? All the fives we skip count on the number line. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's what we just did with our twos, all the way up to 100. Let's revisit the multiples of two on our number line, but in a new way. 
not from the perspective of skip counting, but from the perspective of all of these numbers being multiples of two. The numbers circled before are all of the answers any two multiplication fact. Let's draw a multiples of two box in our notes and jot a few of these down. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Those are the first 10 multiples of two. Pause the program if you're not able to have written them all down. What we will be doing in class is marking the multiples of two on our class number line by shading in the dot for each number that is a multiple of two using a blue pen. That's why I circled them all in blue here. I want you to share some ideas about multiples of two as you are observing the multiples we circled. And here's a question. How many multiples of two are there between zero and 100? If you know or can figure it out, I would love to see your answer in the comments below. Are the multiples of two odd numbers, even numbers, or both odd and even numbers? Multiples of two are all even numbers. Look at what all these numbers end with, either zero, two, four, six, or eight, over and over again. It's a multiple of two pattern. Going back to the beginning again, is zero a multiple of two? Why or why not? Pause this video if you wanna beat me to it in the comments. Zero is indeed a multiple of two, and I should have circled it earlier. What a great catch. Why? Read the answer with me right from your notes. Because a multiple is the number you get when you multiply a number by another number. You've already written that down. Zero is a multiple of two because two times zero equals zero. Now this you do need to go ahead and write down. So go ahead and write down that last note about multiples. What would happen if we did this same exercise, the same activity, and we marked our number line all the way to 100 for multiples of three? Will we need to mark any of the multiples we've already circled on the number line again? In other words, will any of the multiples of two also be multiples of three? Will any of the multiples of two and three be multiples of six? If we were to do the same thing on the number line for the multiples of six, if we were to skip count by sixes next, will any multiples of six not be multiples of two or three? In the near future, we will be marking the multiples of three on the number line in our classroom, and that's gonna happen next week. I'll see you later, bye.